Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching. My name is Mila. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel, like or dislike this video and activate the notification bell. Guys, this week's... <laughs> well, to be honest, already the last six months, I have been going through something horrible. Something absolutely horrible. I don't know how to describe it to you. And I'm not, I cannot even talk about it, if I'm honest. Something up there. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah. I cannot talk about it. Basically, I'm doing just this disclaimer because I have been crying for the last 48 hours non-stop. And it is going to continue for a while. But today, I am a little bit better than the other days. All I'm able to do is look after my daughter and work out, which is already a lot in my situation. Like, seriously, like, it's gravity, I would say. I was gonna say 8 out of 10, but I would even go for a good 9.5 out of 10. So yeah, one thing that is good about me and one thing that I adore about myself is that I am very, very persistent, meaning I go out of everything. I go out of every single situation, you know what I mean? And I always manage to somehow keep the positive. So this is one of my huge qualities. On the other side, I was a little bit in a better, better mood yesterday. Guys, I did something that seriously I am so proud of myself, but this deserves a video in itself. Tell me if you're interested. It is because, look, I'm going to tell you. I already gained once 10 kilograms in my life. Uh, it was around... Um, I was always skinny all my life, you know what I mean? But around uh, my 22 years old... Keep in mind, I was always eating bad when I was un until 22 years old. And then uh, my first boy boyfriend that I went to live with, yeah, 20 years old or something like that, yeah. And then I gained 10 kilograms because I stopped being active and I continued eating like S. So I gained 10 kilograms. So keep in mind that I have quite a good knowledge on how to lose weight healthily, meaning uh, I just basically ate healthy and worked out. That's how I lost these 10 kilograms and I think I lost them all in all a year about yeah this time i reached my weight pre-covid and even before pre-covid i i reached my ideal weight basically uh in uh, two years i gained pretty much 25 kilograms which is an absolute joke i will agree with you i can do you a video basically i already explained it in another video but i can explain you why i gained so much weight but yeah with covid everyone gained weight but not everyone gained 25 kilograms you know what i mean so yeah uh and i lost all the 25 kilograms in one year so uh i'm not praising myself that it was so quick or whatever uh it was very drastic it was very hard it was very complicated there was a lot of dedication but guys i finally feel like myself and and you know what i'm also super super happy about i was expecting i was already like putting money on the side to go paris to redo my boobs to get a lift everything became 90 percent like before like just the belly a little bit like i have a little bit of a pouch but look anyway i'm super happy guys now i can finally look myself in a mirror okay i like myself only skinny i do not like myself even slightly overweighted and keep in mind that yeah my maximum weight was almost 80 kilograms and now i am at 55 kilograms and i am still dieting i am back on keto if you're interested or not i don't know and yeah guys there is a lot of things that make that my life right now is very hard but this is a very good point if you want, you know, I really, really regret I did not document everything I did to get where I am now because there was definitely some mistakes. And if you can learn from me, that would be amazing, okay? So I hate my foundation. Who the... F 
Who put on the market this fancy foundation? You know, the one in the long tube with the white cap. I don't know if there is other ones. I absolutely hate it. It's patchy AF. I hate this foundation, but it's the foundation that matched me the best because I didn't go Santana and Solarium for a while because I just have... I cannot be bothered to be blocked in a machine for 12 minutes while my brain is just 24-7 turning around, you know? I know you... Okay. One good news is that when I'm depressed, when I'm sad, I shop. I shop a lot. And honestly, these perfumes that I'm gonna hold to you, I'm gonna do a two-part. Um, I bought a lot of perfumes, yeah. A lot of, like, of all sorts. And I bought a lot of other stuff as well. I didn't even set my lights. This is just natural light. I even tried to activate the filter. Ah, it's activated. Okay, I activated the filter and this is for my good. Do you see? Because I just do not feel well. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how it goes, honestly, because... Because... <laughs> okay, so we have a shop in Switzerland uh, in, a, in a mall that's open and that's that sell discounted perfumes basically and I just picked up this I really want the one that's like uh, multicolored you know and also the one that's the Delina dupe I want to get those but they're sold out everywhere I got this uh, I'm, uh, it's the Club de Nuit women it's just a dupe for um, yeah, it is a dupe for Chanel Coco Mademoiselle It's kind of like a citrusy patchouli perfume, uh, it's classy, it's uh, classic. What I like with Amraf perfumes, they, they last a long time, I actually never won this perfume. Uh, but why not, you know what I mean? I should have just bought Coco Chanel because it, it still reminds me of memories. Because I, ha I went through quite a few bottles when I, uh, I was a teen. Yeah. Guys, if this video is all over the place, it's just what it's gonna be. And maybe, maybe next week I get a good news. And guys, I would be the most happiest person ever. I would be the happiest person on earth if I get the news that I want to get next week. I'm almost gonna cry. Like, I, I hate it. But I remember once I started YouTube, I said I'm never gonna be this YouTuber who's gonna cry and I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry, I'm gonna cry later, <laughs> but now I'm not gonna cry, okay? So yeah, I'm Raph, Club de Nuit. I would recommend if you want an uh, inexpensive Coco Chanel, Mademoiselle Dupe. Okay guys, this also, I found it in a shop, in the shop. I usually use the Eau de Toilette, but this is the Eau de Parfum. Hypnotic Poison from Dior. Guys, this is... I love it. This is confidence, sex, everything you want in a bottle. Oof. Look, it has licorice in the opening, but you can barely smell it. It's like a vanilla, almond, nutty, dark, boozy... Pfft. What do they say on the internet? This is just like, to me, absolute goals, guys. Nutty, white floral, almond, soft, spicy, balsamic, amber, fruity, nutty, vanilla. Guys, this to me is really a perfume that's worth it. If you want to buy something gourmand from a designer, this is amazing. Uh, I usually, licorice, I hate it since I'm a kid. I think it's the most disgusting thing that was ever inv invented by people. But here it works. I love it. I, this is confidence. I love it. It's more of a night time, night, night, it's more of a nighttime perfume, but yeah. But I knew, yeah, very nice. So yeah, my daughter is back from school. So yeah, then I have apple juice from Zara. I was just eyeing this one for a while and um, baby. Vicky, I'm filming. Okay? Yeah. Vicky, I'm filming. Okay. Okay, baby. 
Okay, this is just like a fruity, juicy daytime perfume. It is supposed to be a, a dupe for the Chanel Eau Tendre. I don't know why I had Chanel perfumes. I'm sorry for the back. Babes, please! I'm sorry for the back noises, by the way. So, uh, it's nice. It's just juicy, like juicy fruits. You know what I mean? Nothing crazy, but it, it doesn't last at all. Like, at all, at all, at all. Okay, then, ha ha ha, ho ho ho. Okay, so I went to my, uh, to the, my, um, the store where I have all the niche stuff. I tried all the Xerjov. By the way, in my eyes, yeah, Xerjov is like what you call a real niche perfume company. Because they're always sold out of most of them. And uh, I went like in between three times and I tried them all. And I have here the two that I liked the most. So this one is Accento Overdose. Guys, if you want to smell women or men very, very expensive this summer, this smells so expensive. Like, it smells like money. It lasts amazing. It's like a fruity green floral perfume. I don't know even how to explain to you the vibe. It just smells like an expensive, 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 expensive times 200 shop. It smells so expensive. It lasts a very long time. If you... I, this is just like... This is to me a personal love. Like a love. I absolutely adore this perfume. I smelled it uh, and I bought it. I have to be careful with these ones. Then I have this. This one I like even more. This is Xerjov La Capitale. It is very similar, but not exactly, to Mula Mula by Byron. And by the way, I have a coupon code for Byron. If you want to buy anything from them, I'm gonna put it on the screen. Guys, this is a fruity perfume, but it's one of those fruity perfumes that is the same kind as uh, Xerjov Herba Pura, like, you know, the, uh, the um, Tiziana Terenzi one that's called... Uh, I don't remember, you know, the fruity one, the, the, the most popular of their brand, but this one is the best of, pff, of all of them. Oh my god, I just spray myself in the face. This is amazing, guys. It is a fruity perfume. It is leathery. It just smells like money. It's just so good. I love it. I love it. I absolutely adore it. I love the bottle. I love everything. This is very, 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 very nice. Oh my god, guys. This is something else. This is. I'm keeping this one for a very special occasion. Hope the bottle will not get destroyed, please, like touch wood. Okay, it was not. Okay, so then uh, I went again into this, this discounted shop. And uh, I don't know if you know this brand or I can find it probably. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to link any, anything. Like, I'm just going to be straight up honest. I don't know if I am linking anything. This is Le Couvent des Minimes Aqua Sacrae. Aqua Sacrae. Uh, Le Couvent des Minimes is a brand that you find here online only in one store. I think it's quite a niche brand. I have uh, about 10 of their perfumes now. Um, and this is very nice. It's uh, like a white floral and it is a cologne, I think. This is just nice. Wait. It's just a very dry, cold perfume that smells very expensive. It's definitely unisex. What do they say on frag? They say white floral, citrus, tuberose, woody, aromatic. It's very, very nice. I definitely recommend that. I'm not gonna throw a 200 ml bottle. I think that they are quite affordable as well. Go check out. And they are a niche brand. Huh? They only do perfumes, uh, as far as I know. Then I have uh, this. This is Aqua Paradisi. This one was my favorite one. Yep, 
Yeah, this is like a rose violet, but it also has like some yellow floral florals in it. It's very, very summery. I really enjoy it. Again, it has this expensive vibe about it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Very, very nice. Then the one I like the least, to be honest, and it's actually like the most bold one. It's like a spicy, fruity, but to me the spices are off. I don't know, there is like a spice that I don't like in it. I cannot really pinpoint it, to be totally honest with you. It is Aqua Solis. I probably can find those on Amazon. Some sort of like cinnamon with... This smells like Christmas spices. I wouldn't mind it like... This actually is not bad for like Christmas, around like, you know, in Christmas PJJs. Guys, phew. Okay, so this is my part one. This is already quite a good part. I'm happy with my selection. And uh, by the way, I recommend everything I mentioned. I think, yeah, I am happy I bought it. Actually, I, I really, today, today I was like, <laughs> I literally, I, I just cannot anymore. I just cannot anymore. Th this stress. Honestly, now, like I'm going to tell you something. If someone's feeling bad, like seriously, it's going to get better. You're like this. This is just like a thing that people are like get desperate because they think that things don't get better. Things always get better. If you don't know this shitty situation, you will never be able to enjoy anything good. You know what I mean? I am lucky to have the strength of mind to go through this bullshit. Like, I I have absolutely no words. But today I saw all my perfumes. I was like, fuck it, just do it, just do it. Uh, if I don't seem extremely motivated, well, I explained you why. And I hate if someone complimented me by this time in the comments for my makeup. Thank you, thank you. This would cheer me up, you know. But my makeup, oh, I have the maximum. I put, by the way, usually I have it off, but here I have the high filter, I just need it. So you cannot see anything, which is good for you, by the way. Also, guys, yes, I am, my weight loss, my weight loss. Guys, I'm so happy, I'm so happy, I am so happy. Happy, I am so happy, I'm so proud of myself. Uh, for people who follow me on Instagram, I post pictures, also I'm gonna do an announcement. I am not adding people on Instagram anymore and I have very good reasons for it, okay? Um, I add only when I have time, 10 people or whatever. I have over 2000 requests, uh, I go like, yeah. I add a few people sometimes that I can see that it is a real profile. And by the way, when someone messages me, blah, 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 and I see it's a fake profile, I erase. You know what? I am quantity, uh, quality over quantity because you don't understand what YouTube can bring you as shit. You know what I mean? So I'd rather be cautious. So yeah, guys. And by the way, uh, we people want to put me down, go on, I don't give a fuck really, uh, you could, you cannot put me lower than what I am. <sighs> Guys, this video, like, why am I even doing that? Am I gonna post it? Of course I'm gonna post it, I like my AdSense, why are you lying to people, Mila? Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, activate the notification bell. Keep in mind that if you are in a shitty, shitty situation, you can share it in uh, the... <laughs> you can share your shitty situation in the description. And, um, and maybe it will make me feel better. That would be very nice. And I see you in the part two of this haul. Bye, guys. Love you.